Welcome to the School of Medical and Health Sciences at ECU, where we have five-star teaching, world-class research, and fantastic facilities. Come with me to meet some of the researchers now. The Exercise Medicine Research Institute, we investigate exercises in medicine for the management and prevention of chronic diseases. Uh, the top disease that we are researching at the moment is cancer. So this is the Huntington's Disease Research Project and this is based on the cognitive training aspect that we would normally do on an everyday basis throughout our session. This is the Vario Health Clinic where we see a range of clients from heart disease to diabetes to cancer and we see them and we implement an exercise program to assist um, whatever reason they're here for. I'm Carolyn McIntyre. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow in the Exercise Medicine Research Institute. My research focuses on how we can use exercise to improve the lives of patients with lung cancer and mesothelioma. I belong to Center for Exercise and Sports Science Research uh, called CESA. Our research group focuses on exercise physiology, biomechanics, motor learning, and also all types of age-related research. We are here at the Melanoma Research Group at Edith Cowan University and we are developing a multi-marker test for the detection of melanoma markers in the blood for tracking patients that are undergoing treatment and for the early detection of relapse as well as our early detection of uh, uh, diseases spreading through the body. We're working in this project in collaboration with BioRAD and uh, we're currently troubleshooting some of our methodologies and working way to improve this test to offer it and bring it to the clinic in, in the future. Hi, I'm Richard Harrison from BioRad Laboratory. We're working with the Melanoma Research Group at Edith Cowan University. They're cutting edge users of digital PCR technology who are finding new and innovative ways to detect melanoma much earlier than is previously possible. We at the Melanoma Research Group are working on uh, studying the melanoma cells that are circulating in the blood of the patients with melanoma in order to understand how the melanoma tumors spread throughout the body and how the tumors respond to the therapy. One of our major focuses of research in the Alzheimer's disease group at Edith Cowan University is gaining an understanding of the genetic and epigenetic factors that put an individual at a greater risk of cognitive decline in the presence of the amyloid pathology seen in Alzheimer's disease. With this information, we can apply it to the optimization of clinical trial design to get a greater understanding of who may be at risk of the disease and therefore stand a greatest chance of, under of developing a disease-modifying agent. Public Health Nutrition at ECU is researching anything nutrition. We're using the BOD pod here to measure body composition in different participants from a range of studies.
I represent the Occupational Health and Safety and the Environmental Health Research Group. The uh, Occupational Health Group are currently researching in preventing serious injury and uh, fatalities. We also uh, go into the workplace to uh, uh, look at exposures to uh, prevent ill health and we also go uh, for environmental health, we look at uh, exposures to the, the public. Here at the ECU Health Simulation Centre, we're able to conduct a wide variety of training, research and teaching. Behind me you see our simulation theatre as an operating theatre and we've got two talented staff working and training on a surgical procedure. But we can do many other things as well, in particular human factors, looking at the way people communicate, interact, lead, all leading to much improved health outcomes. As you can see, we do a variety of research that meets the needs of the community. We would love to see you here at Edith Cowan University.